Bertie added an extra verse. She's saying hello to everybody, just like we do in our classroom. She's saying hello to her polar bear that she lives with. Her stuffed polar bear. Uh, but good morning, everybody. We're so glad to see you. I'm running a little bit late today, but Bertie was here early. She got the We got the computers figured out today so she could join us. So we're glad to see you. Good morning. Happy, what day is today? Wednesday? Today's the 25th. Today's Wednesday. Let's sing your hand washing song and then let's take a look at the calendar so we can get that all figured out. Ready? Tops and tops bottoms, and tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together, now they're clean, squeaky clean. All right, let's take a look at the calendar. I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can see. Oh, there it is. I'm tilting you just a little bit because we're getting towards the end of the month. Yesterday was the 24th. I remember it was Toshi's birthday yesterday. Today is the 25th. The 25th. It's March 25th, 2020. Um... It is Wednesday, March 25th. Yesterday was the 24th. Today is the 25th. Tomorrow is the 26th. Maybe today you could try writing some numbers. That might be a good thing to do if you're looking for something to do. See if you can write all of the numbers from 1 to 25. You might need some help. But I'll bet there's someone at home to help you because we're all staying at home now, aren't we? Your mom's home. Oh, looks like Birdie is... Oh, Bertie's starting to write out the numbers for us. So she's doing her homework already. Bertie, it is time for your question of the day, though. Oh, she's not going to do the question of the day. So I'll do the question of the day. Um, the question of the day is, do you like balloons or teddy bears? Do you like balloons or teddy bears? Which one do you like? Hmm. Balloons... Or teddy bears. Bird, which do you like? Teddy bears. Birdie likes teddy bears. She's even got a polar bear, a big so giant polar cozy. bear. Like balloons, they can just pop. Yeah, I think I like balloons. I had a balloon when I was in college that followed me around. It was one that, of those mylar balloons that stayed forever. It was a birthday balloon. Um, for those of you families in Detroit, please go to the Detroit K-12 dot org forward slash covid website uh, for any information about Detroit schools um, for the Detroit Public Schools Community District. Uh, they have changed how they are doing food delivery and I believe today or tomorrow they should be back up and running. The last email that I looked at and the last information said that they were reducing the number of schools that they were delivering from but that they would be delivering in bags uh, that had three or four days of, of food in it. So please, um, if that is something that your family needs to take advantage of, um, check that out. You can go on your smartphones. You can go on a computer. Um, but that information should be there. Um, they probably sent a robocall to you as well. Um, but please go check out that website to make sure that your families have what they need to get through this time. Um, I thought that it was just going to be me at home, but my wife, Joni, um, she actually is going to be home for the next 11 days, too. She was not home from work, even though she works at a hospital. So we're still going to be practicing kindness this week because sometimes being at home with the people that you love, it's hard. It's hard to keep being kind. So I have another kindness book. It's called The Kindness Snippet Jar. It's by Diane Alber. So let's read that book together. Think about how we can be kind to the people that we love. My name is Snippet, and I really want to live in that jar. Why do you think he wants to live in that jar? You wouldn't? I sort of feel like I'm living in a jar staying in my house. I know what you're thinking. Why on earth would I want to live in a jar? Well, it's a very special jar that brings kindness to the world. But in order to live in the jar, you have to become a kindness note.
just look at all those amazing kindness notes. I have to find my words. And quick, we've got things on there that say, listen, ask someone to play, um, said please, made a new friend. Those are all things that are kind. Snippet says, it's a good thing I have this handy dandy book of words. Words are very powerful. Some words can make you happy. Some can make you sad. And some can bring kindness. It's important that you find the right words. What if I picked the word pineapple? No, people would confuse me with the grocery list. Or how about the word Fred? Mm, no, people might think I was a lost name tag. How will I ever find the right words? Maybe a quick run will help me think of some words. Have any of you been doing any exercising over the last week and a half or so? I hope so. A quick run sometimes. Yes, I did a half an hour workout yesterday. You did a half hour workout? Yeah. That's because my team, rock climbing team is horrible because I got a black eye. Uh oh. You got a black eye doing the workout at home? Well, sort of. All right. All right, snippets ready. Hi, Square. Can I ask you something? Sure. Sometimes it's good to ask friends for some help when you need help. How did you find your words? I didn't find these words. I did something kind and they just appeared. Oh, I'm not sure if I know how to be kind. All you have to do is treat people the way you would want to be treated. It's pretty good advice for kindness, don't you think? Well, I really like it when someone does something nice for me. Maybe I could do something nice for someone else. I believe in you. Oh, Square is a good friend giving advice, being encouraging. Hi everyone, I'm trying to become a kindness note and I have a great idea, but I need some help. Sure, I'll help, I'll help, me too. Look at all those snippets just laying in a pile, but they're willing to pitch in, willing to help. We are making art, jump on. Ooh, that's gonna be cool. Birdie, look at that picture. You see? Yeah. I wonder what it's gonna look like when the art is all made. <gasps> this mosaic is for you, the one reading this book. I really hope you like it. Sometimes all it takes is doing something kind for someone right in front of you. That looks like some art that we could make. We could make art just like that. Bertie, do you think we could make something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think we could. I already made it last year. Did you? Yeah. I feel like well, I'm... Well, it's basically for the fifth grader, but we helped. Did you do it out of clay or did you do it out of paper? Clay. Yeah. This clay. is all out of paper. Snippet was so happy he finally made it into the kindness jar. There are... Oh. Here he says, oh, wow, it finally happened. I got my kindness note. Thank you, everyone, for helping me. There are other snippets just like him looking to make it into the jar, and you can help. After you do a kind act, just write it down and add it to a kindness snippet jar. Encourage other kids, I'm going to add and family members, to do the same to help spread kindness everywhere. That would be pretty cool to have a kindness jar at home 
And every time your family did something really nice, you could add something to the kindness jar. That would be a fun way to mark the time because we're going to be home for another, at least another this week, next week. I think we're home for still another three weeks. I'm not sure. I'm losing track of time here, guys. Um, but we'll be back at school eventually, and we'll get to be kind together at Kaiden. Birdie will be at Angel. She won't go to school with us anymore, but... Um, there you go, Bird. I was going to say add an extra T. She's writing Kindness Matters on her computer screen. Can we sing um, our kindness song today? If you're kind and you know it. If you're kind and you know what, share your toys. If you're kind and you know what, share your toys. If you're kind and you know what, then your life will surely show it. If you're kind and you know what, share your toys. If you're kind and you know what, be polite. If you're kind and you know what, be polite. If you're kind and you know what, then your life will surely show it. If you're kind and you know what, be polite. If you're kind and you know what, say I'm sorry. If you're kind and you know what, say I'm sorry. If you're kind and you know what, then your life will surely show it. If you're kind and you know what, say I'm sorry. All right, last verse, lend a hand. If you're kind and you know what, lend a hand. If you're kind and you know what, lend a hand. If you're kind and you know what, then your life will surely show it. If you're kind and you know what, lend a hand. Hopefully you are being very kind to your family. Birdie, something that you could do that would be kind would be to tell us a couple of jokes. Okay, this need Tanya get laugh yesterday. Yeah, she came yesterday. Something was wrong with the connection, so she didn't join us. All right, Bird. Knock, knock. Who's there? Campfire. Campfire who? You can't fire me. I quit. <laughs> I don't think there are going to be a lot of people there. I said that one's still funny to me. Um, I don't think there's going to be a lot of people quitting their jobs right now. There's a lot of people staying at home and worried about their jobs. All right, what's your next joke for us today, Bird? Uh, what do chalkboards drink when they're cold? Oh, I don't remember this one. What do chocolate chalkboards drink when they're cold? I'm waiting. Oh, I thought you were going to guess. Uh-uh. No, I don't know. Um, Hot chocolate. Get it? Chalk. Oh, you don't want to zoom in that close to me. Hot chocolate. That's actually, that's a cute one. I like that. It's kind of like a groaner dad joke, though. Um, should we take a look at the sprouts? Let's see how the sprouts are doing. Um, I think we might have to call some of them a goner. Let's take a look here. Joni's coffee pods are still in the sink. I didn't clean those out. Here's our broccoli, I think. These are the broccoli. Actually, it looks like these might be doing okay. They started to sprout up a little bit overnight. Maybe they're just slow growers, like some of us. Some of us take a while for it to start growing. My nephew Corwin is just a short little guy right now, but we think he's going to be quite tall eventually, just like his brother. I'm dripping the water out of this one so it doesn't drip all over my floor. Yeah. There are the clover. Like, he's tiny, like me. He is tiny, like, like you. Is he older than me? He is. Yep, he's 13. Yeah, he's a bit taller than me. He's 13. Well, he's quite a bit taller than you now. All right, and here are the fenugreek. I think I called these mung bean sprouts yesterday, but they're actually fenugreek. So those are about ready to go. In fact, I think after I rinse those, maybe I'll leave them out so that they can turn green and we'll take a look at those next time I see them. But for now, Kite and Rising Stars, go out and have a great day. Um, eat something healthy, wash your hands, and be kind to one another. We'll see you next time. Bye.